Thank yes. you. All right, I'd like to open the uh, June 21st, 2022 uh, Contract Administration Board meeting. And for the record, we have the Honorable Andrew Joyce, Chairman of the Albany County Legislature, the Honorable Bruce Hidley, County Clerk, the Honorable Dan Lynch, Deputy County Executive, uh, in attendance today. So the first order of business will be to accept the May 9th, 2022 minutes, meeting minutes. Dan Lynch will make Andrew a motion. Joyce, Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? The meeting minutes for May 9, 2022 are accepted as printed. So first on the agenda will be contract number 336-22. Department is the Sheriff's Department. The vendor info is Eclipse Network Solutions. Estimated amount is $58,377. The estimated term is 6122 to 517 2023. The scope of services we will be purchasing and the vendor will be installing security cameras at the Clarksville Public Safety Building. This project will be paid for using grant funds and the fiscal impact is 100% to the state. I now open the floor for comments or questions and ask that you please identify yourself for the record. Doug Miller for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, as it says, it is being paid for through Homeland Security grant funds, 100%. Any other questions from the Contract Administration Board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Andrew Joyce, I'll make the motion. Dan Lynch will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion is carried. Next is contract number 354-22. The department is the sheriffs. The vendor is Quality Painters and Decorators, Inc. The estimated amount is $24,230. The estimated term is 6 one 2022 to 12 31 of 2022. The scope of service, the vendor will be painting the public safety building and garage at 58 Virgil Avenue in Clarksville, New York. Uh, this is 100% county funded. I now uh, open the floor for comments by the department head in charge of this project. Doug, are you going to respond to this? Bill Rice is on mute. Yeah, Bill's muted. Bill's Bill, on. you may be. Bill, you're muted. Can you hear me now? There yes. you go. So this is the uh, hopefully the final part of the renovation for Clarksville. Um, we're looking to have some uh, painting done uh, within the and outside the building and it should finish up the, uh, the renovation portion. It's also um, part of the bond that we have uh, outstanding with the, uh, the building for the renovation portion. Any other questions by the CAB administration board for uh, Mr. Rice? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. This is Dan Lynch. I'll make a motion. Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? The motion is carried. Thank you, Bill. Next on the agenda is contract 362 22. The department is emergency 911. The vendor is Keystone Precision Solutions. The estimated amount is $69,530. The estimated term is 6 1 22 to 5 31 23. The scope of services, the Sheriff's Department would like to purchase a Trimble forensic scanning system. This is 100% county funded. I now open the, uh, the floor for comments by the department head in charge. William Rice with the Sheriff's Office. We're attempting to purchase this for uh, kind of a twofold. One is for the law enforcement side for uh, investigating crime scene um, and crashes, which was uh, recommended by the state police their sole provider, uh, sole source, I should say, for the, for that system. We're also going to use it through the 911 system. And I'll, if you have any questions regarding that, I have kept on, on the line here to uh, answer any other questions regarding that. Any other questions by the Contract Administration Board? Yeah, this is Dan Lynch. I do have a question. What is What does uh, Kevin or, or Bill, what does the forensic scanning system actually do? Dan, part of the uh, for like crash scenes, um, the state use it um, 
basically it documents the scenes for court purposes for us. It also uh, interjects uh, GPS locations. As you scan it, it locks in GPS of exactly the, cr the crime scene itself. Okay. Thank you. Sounds like it's updating the uh, uh, your equipment that you have to a more newer model to do things. Correct. Absolutely. Any other questions from the contract administration board? I'll entertain a motion, please. Andrew Joyce, I'll make the motion. Dan Lynch will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It's carried. Thank you, Bill. Thank Next you. The, you're welcome. Next on the agenda is contract number 3, 345-22. The department is the Board of Elections. The vendors aren't off moving in storage. The estimated amount is $20,777.23. The estimated term is 10-17-22 to 10-25 of 22. The scope of service, the Board of Elections is seeking contract approval with Arnoff Moving and Storage to provide services for the pickup, delivery, and return of electronic voting machines for use by the electorate during the federal, state, and primary elections to be held on Tuesday, August 23rd, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, the fiscal impact for this is the county is 100% state funded. I now open the uh, floor for comments by the department head in charge. Is there anybody from the Board of Elections? Yes, sorry, I didn't unmute myself there. That's okay. Um, this is Commissioner Donovan. Um, we had to have trucking services for the unexpected August primary and Arnoff was the sole bidder. And we were fortunate to get Arnoff because they quit on us for the June election. So uh, that's why we're trying to expedite the movement of this contract and um, uh, move forward. But they were the sole bidder. OK. Any other questions from the contract administration board? Hi, this is Dan Lynch, just to follow up uh, commissioners. Uh, um, understanding what's going on in the June election. I just want the other members of the contract administration board to know that there is a plan in place to uh, assist with the moving of the machines, if I'm correct. Is that correct, commissioners? There is a plan, but uh, we had got no co cooperation from the uh, county executive's office or uh, OGS. We had to go through the sheriff's department to get help. Okay. Well, that's news to me, Commissioner, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you offline if we can. OK. Any other questions for the commissioners from the contract administration board? Uh, Mr. Hidley, if I could just make one point, can we change the estimated term to encompass the date of the election? So we'll give it a start date of August 1st and an end date of October 25th. OK, so we have an amendment to the contracts estimated term from August 1st of 2022 until October 25th of 2022. Any further amendments, Mr. Uh, Mr. Riley? No, sir. Thank you very much. So are there any other questions from the contract administration board for our commissioners? Yes, I have a question. Why is that October 25th date? Uh, it's the dates you guys entered. I was just leaving the end in case you needed it for some reason. I would think it would end in November, wouldn't it? Well, this was I think this was the second contract that was entered separately because it was a new election. And then we had the original contract that encompassed June uh, 28th and then November 8th because we did not anticipate the August primary at the time. So there were two contracts that were being floated at the time. Yeah, we, we can make the end whatever you guys would like. I was just leaving in case there was a reason for it. Yeah, I mean, the end date doesn't really matter as long as it contracts in place for the August 23rd primary. That's what we're primarily concerned with. Yeah. Well, we don't want to short you in, in the November election, though, if we cut it off on, on October 25th. Right, but the November election was on a separate bid. That was on an original bid that was with the June, the June 28th primary because the August 23rd primary was unanticipated. Okay. So that was a separate that was a separate contract that went in. Understandable. So this is a this is just a second contract because of the August 
primary. Correct. Okay. Uh, any other questions from the contract administration board? I'll entertain a motion for this, please. Dan Lynch, make the motion. Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Thank you, commissioners. You're all set. Thank Next you. Next on the agenda is contract number 371-22. The department is a sewage treatment. The vendor is Blue Siren Incorporated. The estimated amount is $60,000. The estimated term is 615.22 to 615.24. of The scope of service is supply and set up 32 cellular flow monitoring units and annual data, data housing for 32 units for two years. Contract to be paid from the encumbrance. Number 221-77142. It's 100% county funded. And I'll open the floor for any comments from the department head that's online with us. Uh, thanks, Bruce. This is Angelo Gaudio from the Water Purification District. Um, this uh, this contract is for the purchase of uh, new flow metering units. So we basically monitor flows from our communities um, with this equipment. Um, currently, there's a radio system which is basically outdated. So we're looking to replace that to a more robust system that would be hosted on a web server, which would allow us remote access. It would also allow our communities to access that and get real time flow data um, to help them kind of with their billing systems as well. Um, Blue Siren was the the sole bidder um, for this, which was under RFB 2022-055. Uh, um, um, based on our review, we feel that they're uh, capable of pro uh, providing the equipment and then also we'll be hosting the uh, the web uh, services um, for the data for the two year increment of the contract. Okay, thank you, Angelo. Is there any other any questions from the contract administration board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Andrew Joyce, I'll make the motion. Dan Lynch will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Your motion is carried. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you. Uh, with the contract administration's board approval here, I'd like to jump so that we can get the uh, the commissioners back on with us again one more time. I have an addendum that was that I received this morning uh, for the board of elections, and um, it is for uh, Vinci's Printing Ltd. And they're seeking to get approval of a contract with Vinci's Printing Ltd., which will provide the ballot stock paper on an as-needed basis for the primary general and any special elections held within July 1, 2022 and December 31 of 2022. And Vinci's was the sole bidder. And the contract uh, period is 7-1-2022 to 12-31-22. The estimated amount is $99,999. And now I'll open the floor for comments from the Board of Elections. So uh, th this is the bid that we had to go out to Vinci with with uh, for ballot paper renewal. Unfortunately, due to inflationary costs, we're not able to uh, renew an old bid that existed with them. We had to go out to a new bid, so there was a slight increase in cost, but not too bad. Um, and Vinci's was the sole bidder on this bid. And this is a bid that um, other counties, adjacent counties, actually bounce off of on obtaining their paper as well. Any other questions for the commissioners from the contract administration board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion for this contract. Dan Lynch will make a motion. Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? The contract is carried. Thank you for being patient. I forgot that that was on there, that addendum. No, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right, next on the agenda is contract 337-22. Department is Public Works. The vendor is Creighton Manning Engineering, LLP. The estimated amount is $72,000. The scope of service, supplemental number two agreement with CME for additional engineering services. For the Gifford Hollow Road over tribute, tributary to the Switzgill Culvert Rehabilitation Project. Uh, the fiscal impact to this is 100% to the county. I now open the floor for comments from the department head involved with this. Hi, Bruce, good afternoon. Um, yes, we're requesting uh, supplemental approval for additional engineering services from Creighton Manning. 
CME designed the Gifford Hollow Road Rehabilitation, Pro actually Gifford Hollow Culvert Rehabilitation Project. And we would like for them to continue with the project and perform construction inspection services. The amount is not to exceed 72,000, but it assumes a 12 week construction duration. However, we anticipate that it will take a much shorter time frame. Okay, I know who you are, but for the record, can you give us your name? Oh, sure. This is Lisa Raimondo, Commissioner of Public Works. Thank you. Uh, from the Contract Administration Board, any further comments or questions? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion, please. Andrew Joyce, I'll make the motion. Dan Lynch will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Your motion is carried. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Next on the agenda is contract 343-22, the Department of Health. The vendor is Mohawk and Hudson Humane Society. The estimated amount is $30,000. The estimated term is 6122 to 1231 of 2023. The scope of services is inclusive of six rabies vaccination clinics, three per calendar year, at a cost of $4,000 per clinic. Two clinics will be held in Manans, New York, two in the vicinity of Bern, New York, and two at varying locations based on predicted need and on the accessibility and safety of the sites available. MHHS also provides rabies sampling on an on as needed basis at a cost of $75 per sample without delivery and $100 with delivery. Now this is broken down into two fiscal impacts. The county will be picking up 64% of this and the state will be picking up 36%. So now I open the floor for comments or questions from the department head involved. Shannon Witherspoon for the health department. Um, this is a mandated service. Um, we are mandated to hold three rabies um, clinics each year, and these this is for um, pets, so cats, dogs, and ferrets. Mohawk was the only um, response to our RFQ, um, and we are asking for a contract not to exceed $30,000. Any other questions or comments from the Contract Administration Board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. This is Dan Lynch. I'll make the motion. Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Your contract is carried. Thank you. Thank you. And last on the agenda is Contract 3547. Dash 22, Department is Building Services. The vendor is iGen Networks Corporation. The estimated amount is $29,920. The estimated term is 9122 to 831 of 24. The scope of services is GPS hardware and monitoring services for 81 DGS fleet vehicles. This is 100% county funded. I now open the floor for comments or questions from the department head involved. Yes, this is Commissioner Latina, Department of General Services. Uh, an RFP was issued, uh, and IGEN was scored at the highest for the uh, for what we needed uh, for monitoring service for our GPS for fleet. Uh, the first year is, is $16,200 uh, because of the <coughs> hardware we have to purchase, uh, and then the monitoring goes down to $97.20 a year. Uh, we put an extra $4,000 into the contract amount for future vehicles that we may need to do uh, for a not to exceed contract amount of $29,920. Any other questions or comments from the Contract Administration Board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion, please. Does Andrew Joyce will make the motion. Dan Lynch will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? The contract is carried. Thank you, Commissioner Latina. Thank you. Before closing the contract administration board meeting, and I should have done this at the last meeting, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Karen Storm on nearly over 36 years of service to, do, to Albany County as our purchasing director. I know personally I had the pleasure of working with Karen on many, many projects, and her professionalism was second to none. And I'd like to welcome Pam O'Neill, to the uh, to the position of purchasing 
and uh, well, and wish her all the best as uh, as her years will continue with Albany County. Thank well you very said. much. I really appreciate that. Anybody else would like to say anything about Karen? I think you said it best, Mr. Headley. Thank you for Thank your you, service, Mr. Karen. I appreciate uh, uh, Mr. Clark, you, you recognize and Karen, she's a tremendous loss and we're very happy that uh, she's she's retiring and finding some uh, some new chapters in, in her, her life and uh, that's terrific, it's well deserved and we're very happy to have Pam stepping in as our, our new purchasing agent and we know that the, the we're in good hands. So the county's in good hands when it comes to uh, the, the transition from, from Karen until Pam. Yep. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. If there's anything we can do for you, just let us know, Pam. Thank you. So with that, I'd like to entertain a motion to, to close the contract administration board meeting for June 21st, 2022 at 4.35 p.m. 4.25 p.m. This is Dan Lynch. I'll make the motion. Andrew Joyce will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstention? The motion is carried and the contract administration board meeting is closed. Thank you, everyone. And Dan, will you be signing? They are signed, Mr. Clerk. We're all Thank set. You so much. All of you have a great day. Take care, everyone.